Hey everyone, welcome back to Miniature Painting 101, a series of videos where we teach you all about painting miniatures from start to finish and everything in between, including camouflage. As we're doing this week again, part three of our camouflage series, this is going to be winter camouflage or snow camouflage, depending on how you want to call it. And so we'll be keep continuing to work on this Bane blade. So we're working on this back corner of it. As always, I started with the model primed mid-tone gray because it's easy to work with. And also, as you're going to notice, winter camo is a lot of gray. So it's always good to start off with gray. So I took Ghost White from Reaper. Now, the reason why I went with Ghost White is it's slightly colder than white. It has a blue tint to it. Feel free to use a white if you wish. I just want to use this one because it has a slightly colder tint and that way it has that colder feel and good for winter camo. And so I'm going to do a slightly different pattern in each of these tutorials. That way you can see different camo patterns as well as different colors and you can use yours to integrate which ones you want to do. With each. You can actually mix it up. You can do this pattern with a different uh, color or this color with a different pattern, etc. So I start off by deciding where the white was going to be. I'm just doing little random blobs essentially. Uh, just make sure that they're nice and round and uh, just in different directions, different sizes, different lengths. Just kind of a random pattern of white. Try to, you know, represent white though, because white should be one of the, the, the colors that pop out to make it a winter camel. But as you can see, I'm just wrapping it around the vehicle. And if you decide to wrap it around certain parts, make sure it's continuous. And uh, that's pretty much it. As I said, this is just kind of like the random blotch pattern for camel. But uh, yeah, I'm just starting off with the white and working my way around and as you can see the white instantly just jumps out of the eye in that winter color and next I used I'm going to use the uh, the stone triad from from Reaper so I start off with weathered stone and I just continue to this blob pattern now the key is whenever you're doing this particular pattern of camo is you start off with the first color and then each color gets progressively darker and what you do is every time the colors touch you want to go slightly over the previous color and clean it up and get it nice and smooth and rounded. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm wrapping in certain areas and blobs in different sizes and shapes, but every time it touches a white area, I make sure it completely touches and I go slightly over the white area. Because the, the worst thing you can have in this scenario is little gaps of the gray primer between the colors. So now we're gonna repeat this pattern with stone gray. And as you can see, I'm just gonna do once again little blobs of color. Uh, keep it round, keep it nice and shaped, and every time it touches a light gray or a white area, I make sure it slightly envelops it and cleans it up slightly. That way as we're going along, we're going to leave, uh, as you can see with each step, there's going to be less and less gray primer in the background, and each step is going to clean up the previous one so that it's nice and clean patterns for this camo pattern. And I'm just going to continue around the entire tank. Continue as you see. This is you know this is part three of our camouflage series, so I'm going to be a little bit repetitive. And we're going to wrap around certain areas and just make sure it's a nice random pattern, you know, different sizes, different shapes, different areas. And uh, that's essentially the key because essentially this pattern is kind of like if you shot all the colors at the same time against a wall and it, it was just you know hit against the wall and splatted. And of course we're using winter uh, or or snow colors which is actually just white and a lot of grays and a little bit of black. So as you see now I'm just going with stone gray which is the mid-tone gray from the Reaper triad from uh, for, for the stone color triad from Reaper. And I'm just going around it and cleaning up every area that it touches and I'm slowly but surely removing the gray primer and as you can see there's less and less color with each step and that's what we're going for obviously because we're covering it up. And with each step you can clearly see that a, a camel pattern is emerging in this back corner of the Bane Blade. And then finally, we're gonna repeat this one with one more gray shadowed stone, which is the darkest of the gray uh, colors for the Reaper Triad of, of the stone, Reaper Stone Triad. And once again, just nice and simple shapes, uh, cleaning up all around as we go. And uh, this is gonna leave a little bit of the gray primer, which is gonna be the black areas of the, uh, of the camo pattern. As you see, a really cool pattern emerges, and that's all you do. You take it one color at a time, and slowly but surely, the camel pattern will emerge by just cleaning it up with each step and uh, keeping it really simple. You know, nice rounded shapes and random shapes, and, and have a good time doing it. Of course, I use my a large brush possible, and I always thin down my paints. Now, Reaper paints are thin to be in themselves, but if it was a GW paint, I would thin it down with some Lamy Medium, for example. That way, it goes nice and thin. And if you ever have a problem, just do a second coat if you don't find the coverage is solid. And then finally, we're gonna use Abaddon Black from Games Workshop. I'm gonna thin it down with some Lamy Medium. That way it goes nice and thin, doesn't screen details. And I'm gonna conclude this, so the last parts of the gray primer. 
and I'm going to, as I said, clean up around it. And every time it touches another color, I'm gonna clean it up. And this is essentially gonna be that final step in the pattern. As you can see, I'm just gonna go and, you can see the shapes, the areas that have yet to be really cleaned up, like that top of the white part in a second. And I'm gonna go and clean it up with this black and just make sure that it's nice and smooth of a pattern. And this is it. That's the way I like to do camo, is just clean up as we go, especially in these blotch patterns. Uh, just clean as you go, and always start with the lightest, work your way towards the darkest. And use nice and thin paints. And a large brush, a, a brush that fits the size of the model. In this case, a Bane Blade is a very large model, so we want to use a, as large of a brush that you can get away with, while still maintaining some detail. As you work my way, keeping the shapes nice and smooth, and cleaning up everything as I go. And when it was all done, here's what the model looks like. As you can see now, we have that winter snow camouflage pattern on the back corner of the Bane Blade. As you see, there's the white, which still pops out at you. In fact, I could probably use a little more white in this pattern. Feel free to use a little more white. But uh, in, the gray, in the grays and the, the black, add to it and have that winter camo feel. And that's how you paint a winter camo pattern in that color scheme with a, a blotchy camo pattern. And that's it. So as always, thank you so much for watching this episode of Miniature Painting 101. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned a bit about painting camo. Stay tuned for next week's episode, part 132, which is just around the corner. But if you want to wait for next week, check out the warp. Click on the link below for a free 14-day trial to my premium YouTube channel. We're not only going to see the next six months worth of Miniature Painting 101 episodes for anyone else. You'll get to see over 100 start-to-finish painting tutorials, battle reports, face-off episodes, and Airbrush 101 series, a Q&J series. Just tons of content I know you'll love. So go check out the warp. I know you'll love it. Stay tuned for more videos. Until next time, this is Jay saying. Happy painting, everyone.